hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel Salasi here with another video in the year 2010 i got admitted into community health nurses training school Miniba, and i remember being so happy because my dream of becoming a nurse was finally coming to pass but i also remember being very anxious and scared because one i was moving far from home and mostly because i didn't know what to expect in the nursing school so i'm creating a series on how to survive nursing school for first year second year and third year hostel life practicals and all of that so if you are not subscribed yet subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos the first year of nursing school was so stressful for me because I was in a new environment, the classes were different, the schedule was different, the teaching style was uh, way out of what I knew. It took a lot of time and effort to get accustomed to. So in this video, I'll give guide on five things that you should consider and look at critically for you to survive your first year of nursing school. So we'll cover the courses the teaching style, assessments, and schedule, time, your timetable. For the courses in the first year of nursing school, it's, I call it the fun times, you know, because this is where you are uh, getting the basic or the fundamentals of the field that you are trying to get into. This is where the basic things about nursing, patient care, how to handle, uh, patients and all of that this is where you start building that foundation and most of the things that we learned in first year are most of the things that we apply like practically on the field so the courses in first year are built around building your skill for practice so you do courses like basic nursing where you learn uh, how to make bed how to take vital signs, how to give injection, which is very, very important. As a dance, you have to know how to give injections. So one thing about first year courses is that they help you to build a good foundation for the ab kind of abstract and theoretical things you learn in second year and third year. It will help you better understand patient care when it comes to conditions, and treatments on the world or outside the world so it is critical that you take those lessons very very seriously because you when you miss these foundations you see that you struggle with the other ones because i remember in first year we did first aid when we got to second year and we're doing courses like medical nursing surgical nursing like our sister would just be like so what's the first aid management of this course so if you had missed your first aid classes if you didn't do well or if you didn't get your first aid right in first year you see that you'll be struggling with some of these things so it's not the chill poor pass and forget kind of thing that we were doing in secondary school and jhs that's what you can't apply that here because these courses you have to understand and then apply the next thing about nursing school first year that you find different is the teaching style. Oh my God. The teaching style is super, super different. You know, in JHS and SHS, the teacher will come, they take notes or even write it on the board for us to copy and some of us never read those notes. <laughs> but in nursing school, it is so different. I remember one of our tutors telling us because they were just bombarding us with assignments and group works and all of that. So we were complaining that it was too much. And one of our teachers was like, ah, me, my own is just to do 30% to 70% of the work was for you. Like, ah! <laughs> yes, that's it. Because you do about six courses every semester, at least six, seven or eight courses every semester. And imagine having assignments for each of these courses. So the teaching style is different. One, you go for lectures. So lectures are where your tutor will come and then you discuss topics in class. The next is group work. Like I said, 70% of the work is for you. So you do a lot of group work and presentation. So it's important for you to have a smartphone or a laptop that connects to the internet so that you can do research or go to the library to do research for your assignments. 
and the way the group works and assignments were structured at least in our case was that sometimes a whole area of the course outline is given to one group so if that group doesn't do proper research and come to teach us in class for us to understand then you have to do all of that work on your own so group works are very important presentations are important and it's very vital that you get you do a good job with your group work so that your colleagues will understand because they are kind of depending on you to teach them that aspect of the course and of course the tutor will be there to chip in uh, needed information that she thinks he or she thinks you should know so lectures group works simulation simulation is like you practicing what you've learned but in a controlled environment so every proper nursing school has a simulation room where you have beds you have uh, all of the instruments that you use in the ward or at the hospital in that room so you can use to practice and then get skills so you have a dummy a dummy like a human sized toy a big size toy that you can use to practice your bed making positioning of patients and a lot of the nursing skills that you use on the field will be used done here so simulations are used to uh, give you better understanding of what you are learning and then there is independent study so independent study is you having time for yourself to do research around the topics that you are dealing with in class and then get better understanding of them then finally we have clinicals under teaching styles where you practice what you learned in class or in the simulation session on the ward actually on the ward in first year we used to go out every tuesday every tuesday to either the ward or uh, into the community because i was doing community health nursing so uh, we either go to the ward to practice basic nursing or we go to the uh, community to do home visits and all of that so in school clinical is also part of teaching because you learn what you you, pra you go and practice what you learned on the field and then you come back and give feedback whether you experience something that was different from what the tutor said you discuss it and then move on from there so these are the teaching styles that you will be exposed to in nursing school now let's talk about assessments our academic performance was assessed through assignments class tests mid semester exams and end of semester exams and all of these exams are very very important to give you an aggregate uh, score at the end of every semester back in my time we do uh, multiple choice questions and then do essay when you get to school the first thing you should find out about your assessment is the cutoff grade for referral in my school the cutoff grade or the referral grade is d so when you get d you know that you have been referred for that course so find out what the, how the grading system works and make sure you are always above the cutoff point so that you don't get referred in your exams. The next thing is your timetable. Try as much as possible to stick to your timetable, your lectures, your assignments, uh, field work and all of that. Try as much as possible to stick to them because First year is not the oh way and yet it's not hard. We are just figuring things out. Second year is where the business is. No, first year of nursing school, everything is starting. Like serious learning is going on. So don't be lazy about your timetable. Like adapt very quickly to your timetable because it will help you in uh, your studies. Because nursing is like whatever you learn in school you will practice in nursing every knowledge is important so stick to your schedule go for lectures go for simulation and clinical because sometimes even in your exams if you've not been to the field to actually experience some of the things you can't answer some of the questions that will be asked in your exams and all of these things put together will help you become the best nurse that you are supposed to be a very knowledgeable nurse like if you are a nurse that is knowledgeable nurse are what they everybody respects you so don't be a nurse that own him she the society will know that we are nurse our own him she 
so don't go and slack in nursing school that is is there three years or two years of your life that you don't joke with okay so stick to your schedule so this is my academic guide for you as a first year nursing student if you have received your admission and is preparing to go to nursing school congratulations and i hope you have a fruitful first year experience i think the next part of this series will be handling hostel life and uh, your academic life like this video share and subscribe if you've not done that yet and i'll see you in my next one bye